Soviet Union continues to expand in both military might and political influence. Soviet Russia holds a commanding position in the future destiny of the world. But it was the United States that held the secret to atomic power. The flags of freedom fly all over the world. This superiority would be short-lived, however, as Stalin was already at work on a plan of his own. While searching for uranium on a tiny island off the southeast coast of the Soviet Union, Russian engineers discovered E-99, a powerful and unprecedented source of energy. Seeing an opportunity for further world domination, Stalin authorizes unlimited development funds to explore the capacities of the substance. Project director Viktor Barasov establishes an island research station, Katorga 12. For his groundbreaking research, he receives the Order of Lenin. When Nikita Khrushchev succeeds Stalin, he accelerates the program, pressuring Barasov to begin field experiments. However, not only is E-99 capable of delivering unimagined power, it is also incredibly volatile. Yet Barasov is pressured to begin tests. The disaster has no known survivors. Moscow buries the installation effectively wiping it from the map. 2010, a US spy satellite flying over the area is blinded by a radiation surge. Fearing another Chernobyl, and suspicious of Moscow secrecy, the reconnaissance mission over Katorga 12 is ordered by the Pentagon. One actual here. What's your status, Captain? They got punched out. Copters down and we're scattered. Don't know how many KIAs yet. Over. Satellite's got you about 30 clicks south of a radio tower. Get your team there, Captain. We're pulling you out. Understood, sir. Spartan team, if you copy, switch your comm gear to TAC-3. Meet up at the rally point. of new scientists and technicians to Katorga 12 has dwindled to nothing. Rumor has it that Dr. Barisov might become the new head of Katorga 12, but I doubt Moscow has much confidence in him. If only Dr. Demichev hadn't died in the fire. I 
isolated island of Katorga 12, we are fighting that threat. The glorious work we are doing will change the world and keep our way of life safe from those who seek to do us harm. Soviet scientists have discovered the answer to our hopes and dreams, the element E-99. E-99 is a rare element only found on Katorga 12. There are many different ways to help the efforts of Mother Russia here on Katorga 12. Your families will live well on the island, and your children will attend schools offering the very best Russian education. Scientific research is the largest division on the island, advancing agriculture, industry, medicine, and the military. Processing E-99 is an important part of the island's function, creating the metal, gas, and other forms of E-99 we use every day. A strong military presence is important on Katorga 12 to ensure the safety of the island. A workforce that will make every Russian proud is the backbone of the island. From the rail yard to the docks, every worker supports the motherland. All of your contributions will go toward achieving the ultimate goals of our work here on Katorga 12. We must stand as one against the forces of the West. You are the lucky one selected for service on Katorga 12. We have moved your family for your convenience. We must now stand together for Mother Russia. By some miracle, you're alive and hearing this. Rally at the base of the radio tower we passed over before we got bounced. SNR's running carpool from there. Double time it. Move! Help! Help! For the love of God, please! Let me out!
know how much time I have, so I'll make this quick. The Singularity exploded about two hours ago, killing hundreds of people. But spreading radiation is also having effects. It's mutating humans into violent monsters, and they feed on human flesh. I have to get out of here before they find me. Titan one actual. Copy. For fuck's sake, someone copy back! Copy back and tell me things look a little something normal, because I'm officially freaking out! Go in Section 8 here. I know it, damn it. Okay. Okay, eyes forward. Keep to the original directive. Continue to the radio tower. Titan one, if you're receiving, I'm in what looks like a school, and there's some guy. Holy mother!
see you, Ringo. If you hadn't come along, I'd be dead. All right, we're supposed to meet up with SNR yesterday. Let's move out. Stick to the plan. Get to the radio tower. Maybe we can salvage equipment there if we need it. How could Intel have been so wrong? I mean, this place is anything but abandoned. Something's not right. We should at least be able to hear the Titan One broadcasting. Search and rescue teams better be on the figure way right now. Responsibility on Katorga 12. Important work is being done on Katorga 12, and there are those who would very much like to stop it. And it's our job to make sure we stay safe. Once again, Dr. E99 will be helping us today as we talk about safety. Katorga 12 is a great place to live. There are plenty of fun places for you and all your friends to play. But there are also dangers on the island. And if you want to do your part to help on Katorga 12, you'll pay attention and avoid these areas. For example, there are many new buildings and roadways under construction. These are very hazardous places for children. And of course, there are the important experiments we're doing with E99. He's our friend, but we have to be careful around him sometimes. Look at little Ivan with his dog. It's important he pays attention to the signs. Uh-oh. It looks like Ivan's dog got into something he shouldn't have. That would be a real shame if Ivan got too close to the processing plant. So don't let this happen to you. Remember that safety here on Katorga 12 is everyone's responsibility. And of course, the most important thing to remember Something we should never forget. And of course, it's possible because of Nikolai Demichev. Let's go. The uniform's a little different from what I've seen, but this is definitely a Russian soldier. No question. Grab that shotgun, let's go. Open the door, then cover me. On me! All clear! Rico, flank right! On the left!
There's the radio tower. Let's contact Titan One and get out of this circle, jerk. On me! It's 86. Go check out that guard post. Maybe there's another switch. Head back to my position. Four of those things. Grab that rifle. We gotta clear a path. Nice shoot. Let's move. Look. 
turned on the guards. Many are dead. Most the others have fled deeper into the island. I must find my Nadia. Let's go. Like an antique show in here. Titan One, this is Devlin Four One Actual. Do you copy? Titan One, this is Devlin Four One Actual. We're primed for extraction. All squadrons alert. Again with the Russians. Say again, this is Devlin 4 1. Oh, they must be jamming up comms. It's all Russian all the time. Does anything work on this goddamn island? Of course not. This place has been abandoned for nearly 50 years. At least, it was supposed to be. Who the hell is this? Shit, these guys don't look friendly. Captain Reiko. You are Captain Reiko, are you not? Don't look so surprised. Your name's right on your uniform. America's charming pension for individuality. Now, I have some questions for you. Name, rank, and serial number. That's all you get from us, Ivan. Check your Geneva Convention handbook. I did away with that little inconvenience years ago. <laughs> and the United States military. I want to talk to someone in our embassy. I think you'll find that impossible for a number of reasons. Our embassy, right now! That's better. How is it you haven't aged a day in 50 years? There is only one explanation. The TMD, where is it? Straight through the doorway. Just follow the open doors. Run! Run! Turn right! Good. Now down the stairs and turn right. Keep running and open the open doors. Down the stairs! <laughs> <laughs> 
Nathaniel Renko. My god, you're here. Just like Mir-12 said. You must have a lot of questions, but we don't have a lot of time. Quickly, Sarah this way. Scott. My name is Catherine. I belong to an organization known as Mir-12. Here, this should answer some of your questions. We are Mir-12. Our mission is to reveal the truth that's been hidden from the entire world. In the 1950s, a military research base was built on the island of Katorga-12. To this day, the government denies its existence. That is a lie. According to top secret documents we've uncovered, the base was the site of research involving the mineral E-99. The E-99 research program was headed by two men. Dr. Viktor Barasov, a top researcher in the field of quantum physics. He didn't live to see the outcome of his work. Reports say he was killed in an unexplained laboratory accident. This man stepped in to lead the program after Barasov's death. He went on to lead Russia in a war for world domination. A war won using super-powered weaponry developed at Katorga-12. Today, we know him as Chancellor Nikolai Demichev, leader of the world government. The events surrounding Demichev's rise to power are still a mystery. Our organization is in possession of a journal that claims Demichev is a fraud. It raises many questions about Katorga-12. What happened there to put Chancellor Demichev in power? What could have caused so much destruction and taken so many lives? Evidence points to this structure on Katorga-12, the Singularity. What is the Singularity? The journal claims one man will lead us to the answers. His name is Captain Nathaniel Renko. It is our mission to locate Captain Renko and help him achieve his goal. We are mere 12. We will reveal the truth. One of the lead scientists on the Singularity Project built a hidden vault. You must find it. Go through there. Here, two-way communicator with GPS. Now go! has mutated the people who used to live here. Keep your eyes open for them.
We've either lost the monsters or they grew bored with us. We are safe for now. Pavel twisted his ankle and we fear it is broken. We'll rest here for tonight. <laughs> As luck would have it, our little haven has a chess set and a stash of vodka. All the comforts of home. The vault you're searching for contains a device called the TMD. It was invented by Dr. Beresov, one of the scientists who worked here in the 50s. According to the Mir 12 journal, there's a hidden entrance in this building that leads to the vault. Find it. Subjects increase in muscle tissue density can only be attributed to the E-99 isotopes that were... This facility is under lockdown. What? Are you crazy? What is the meaning of this? 
There has been a security breach. Come with me. Who gave you the authority to do this? I did. You, Dr. Dimitrov? Did you know that Dr. Borisov will not stand for? I will take care of Dr. Borisov. He's a traitor to Mother Russia. You two, round them up and find the device. You know where it is? Tell me. Dimitrov will rot in hell before I tell you anything! If you want to stay alive, you will do as you are told. Dimitrov is wasting his time! If he thinks thugs like you can cover up the truth! signals off the grid, so I'm guessing you found the vault. It contains the device Demichev killed your friend for, the TMD. Research project, Film Log 19, relating to potential applications of the time manipulation device. Now, the device, or TMD as I come to refer to it, uses... <laughs>
Franco. I've got you on the GPS. For all our sakes, I hope you got the TMD. You must use it to go back to 1955 and stop Demacher from killing Beresov. He is the only one who knows how to restore history to the way it's supposed to be. You should be coming upon a rift. A rip in time. They formed when the singularity exploded, and the island is dotted with them. Follow me. I need my notes. There are two guards. Can you dispose of them? Jeff would be angry when we refused to work on the singularity, but I never imagined he would resort to this. Let me get my notes. Damn it! It won't open! The TMD manipulates the aging process of objects, making them for lack of a better word, older or younger. Even the safe can decay over enough time. We're running out of time. Please, age the safe with the VND. Here, take this. It is a prototype E-99 weapon. It can be unstable but should help tip the odds in our favor.
demonstrates the practical applications of my breakthroughs in controlling E99 temporal distortions. The deadlock is a device that upon activation freezes all time within the radius. The effect has a limited duration, and it can be disabled with the use of gravimetric energy. It can be reactivated simply by deploying it again. The time distortion field also makes a very useful shield. I am certain that within a year my research will provide us with weapons that far surpass anything the West has. Then we can begin our conquest to communist victory. For the Soviet Union! This is where our paths must part. Do not worry about me. I will find safety in that tower. And rest assured, we will meet again. Use the TMD to activate that rift. It will take you back to your time. Good luck to us both. Captain Renko, I almost don't believe it. I have waited over 50 years to see you again, but to you it's been mere seconds, hasn't it? Remember the tower I told you I was going to? I've returned there. It seemed the most sensible place. Come quickly, we have much to discuss. And keep your eyes open. I sent a mutual friend to meet you.
Eventually, Captain, you will have to find an elevator that will take you to the upper floor of the administration building. All other ways are blocked. Take the elevator to the upper floor.
Now you should see the courtyard you'll need to pass through. in ways you could not possibly imagine.
teleportation experiments have progressed as planned. The first step was accomplished and I have determined how to alter an item so that it is out of phase without time. Unfortunately, locating the item once it was shifted became a major problem, but I created the chronolite to address that difficulty. In this test, an object is shifted into an alternate dimension, rendering it invisible. Now, with the aid of the chronolite, the object can be seen. It can also pull phased items back into our time. The chronolite is a huge step forward. Once it has been miniaturized, it will be an incredible benefit to my teleportation research. Praise the deeds of Greg Lennon and Star. Ищите дальше!
are gearing up. Renko, use the TMD to renew the power junctions on the fence. That should buy us some time. should almost be there. the day. Remarkable. You've undoubtedly figured out the timeline has been altered. Russia rules the world, and Demichev is the Chancellor. Here, let me show you what happened to the world after you saved Demichev from the burning building.
From the moment I invented the TMD, Demetjev wanted it. He demanded I hand it over for him to use in his research. When I refused, he had me and everyone else who wouldn't cooperate labeled as traitors. If it weren't for you, I would have been killed along with everyone else. Demetjev was obsessed with the power and possibilities of the singularity. But a few months after it came online, there was a terrible accident. The singularity exploded, killing thousands instantly. But they were the lucky ones. Those who survived were left to a fate worse than death. The E-99 radiation mutated every living thing on the island, including humans. The island was quarantined and abandoned, but not before E-99 had been effectively mass-produced and implemented in everything, from microwaves and vehicles to weapons more powerful than America's atomic bomb. The heels of this success, Demichev was able to quickly rise through the party ranks, preaching all the while that Russia had a technological advantage it must use quickly and ruthlessly. And Premier Khrushchev agreed. Russia launched a preemptive strike against the United States, devastating its entire East Coast with a single E-99 bomb. Simultaneous attacks were also launched across Europe. Germany, France, Great Britain. None could stand against the E-99 weapons of the USSR's troops. Within six months, the entire world was under Khrushchev's control. But not for long. Demichev used his growing number of supporters to oust Khrushchev and install himself as Chancellor for life. So you see, the timeline has been altered, but it can be corrected, and the singularity is the key. With it, Demichev rose to power, and the Soviet Union dominated the world. If you destroy the singularity in the past, History will correct itself. But the only thing that can destroy the singularity is something of equal power. The E-99 bomb Khrushchev desired. There's one aboard a freighter that sunk in the harbor when the singularity exploded. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Take that elevator down into the old rail line. From there, you'll have to travel to the docks. Catherine and I will do our best to help you.
investigated a disturbance near the source. I'll give it a quick look, but I won't stay one second longer than necessary. There's too many bizarre things happening. The island's gone mad. Jeff's men attacked the tower. Catherine distracted them while I headed here. That was a very close call. Come up here. We have much to discuss. Piotr Nikolski. All hail had broken loose on Katorga 12. A group of us is banded together and managed to stay alive. We are moving underground in hopes of hiding from the creatures. Unfortunately, the tunnel is collapsed. We can't go any further. We are going to find some place to hole up for the night. Perhaps we can wait out this catastrophe. Essence, Captain. Demichev's new Strostaitar. He could capture you very soon. Take that rail. It leads to the docks. Once there, you will recover the E-99 bomb. With it, we can correct the timeline. Captain, the way is blocked. 
But if you take this ladder down, you should be able to fix the crane. Then I can get you to the other side. Damn it! Damn it, Chief Moser! Here! Move quickly and fix that crane so I can get you to the other side. You can fix the crane by taking this ladder. Zero! Oh. 
Piotr Mikulski. It's been two days since Mikhail and his group left. I'm beginning to wonder if maybe we shouldn't have gone with them. Last night, the creatures attacked and killed half our group. They'll be back again tonight. You can kill them just outside, sniffing around, waiting for darkness.
last time, but to no end. He can be very stubborn once his mind is made up. My group left this morning with half of the food and ammunition. So far, we haven't had any problems. Maybe we'll get lucky and make it all the way to the docks safely. Mikhail! Mikhail! Come quickly!
and get to the rail. There we should be able to find an engine and take it to the door. Unfortunately, we have to move slowly. Many of us are injured. The creatures are very strong. Demichev has patrols looking for us everywhere.
the gun. It should come in handy. <sighs> Wonderful. It's locked. I think I can fit through that vent. Give me a boost up. from the other side. It's been a long time since anyone was here. This way, Renko. Here's a control panel. Something must be blocking the door from the other side. Do you think you can open it?
Kill them. Oh, you got here just in time. Untie me quickly. Oh, untie me, Renko. Then we can go. Oh, thanks. Now let's get to the docks and find that bomb. transportation out here.
job, Renko. Dr. Beresov, do you copy? Dr. Beresov, please come in. I'm not sure the signal is even getting through. We're almost to the docks. According to Dr. Beresov, the E-99 bomb is on a freighter called the Pearl. Do you think the train held together? It's would have been a long walk. I'm glad we met Renko. It has been the most frightening experience of my life. You go ahead and find that freighter. I'll stay here and keep trying to contact Dr. Beresov. And move fast. Demichev can't be far behind us. Coming. Watch yourself. Thank <laughs> you. 
I lost your signal for a few seconds. I managed to contact Dr. Beresov. Captain Grinkle must have experienced another time anomaly, most likely due to the E-99 bomb. Submersion in the harbor may have made the bomb unstable. So the freight has at the bottom of the harbor. What's the plan now? Simple. Grinkle can use the TMD. Captain, there is a damaged amplification platform on the dock. Repair the power cells below, and you'll be able to raise the pump. Demichev's men are everywhere. Choppers are deploying soldiers onto the freighter. Be on the alert.
Remember Demichev cover E-99 bomb. I'm uncomfortable having this on my ship. It's unproven. Untested. The bomb is dangerous. I've told my officers to keep everyone away from the rear cargo bay. Hopefully the seas are calm on our return voyage.
the damage driver. He told me not to worry. It is only the E-99 inside of the container. He says he is perfectly safe to transport. I'm not so sure. But we leave in the morning and must maintain our schedule. has you in the cargo hold. Excellent. You shouldn't be far from the bomb now. Ship is reverting. It's starting to sink. There's no way he'll make it with all of Demetrius' men there. Catherine, stop! Where are you going? To the freighter. Renko, I'll be there in a minute and draw the soldiers' attention away from you. The 
freighter is sinking and damages many of the cargo holds surrounded. You're out of time, Captain. Not yet. Get the bomb rankers. I'll hold them off long enough for you to escape. All right. Here, let me help you. You did it. You got the E-99 bomb. We still have hope. stop her at the dock, but she wouldn't listen to me. She wanted to draw the soldier's gunfire to make sure you escaped with the E-99 bomb. She was shot just as the ship started sinking. Catherine is dead. But we cannot allow her sacrifice to be in vain. We must succeed and stop Demichev. Unfortunately, the bomb you found is not properly charged. You have to get to the cooker. It's part of the facility where there is, or I suppose I should say was, something we'll need. Go quickly, Captain. Demichev is closing in on us. Please, you should go.
after the Singularity exploded, the service tunnels were used as a makeshift morgue for the dead and infected. This won't be easy. processing area. I'm sure the Jeff's men won't risk going in there. I was 
leading a group of civilians to safety when we were attacked. I scared the creature away, but not before he got a good swipe. Ah, I'm bleeding pretty bad. Ah, that bastard is waiting for me, along with the mob of those crawling creatures. I'm out of ammo, and so tired. I'll just rest here. GPS, you've exited the surface tunnels, which means you should be able to see the coca. It's a massive spherical structure in the distance. But to get there, you'll have to repair the bridge, which means you'll need to activate the DMD amplification platform. Turn on the power grid. Look for the switch nearby. Hydrogenerator. Chef is getting closer. You must be careful, Captain.
I ran to the safety of these tunnels. We made it just in time, but my leg was crushed by a partial cave-in. We waited for rescue, but none came. Elena left to search for medicine for me. But it was three days ago. She's not coming back. And I know I cannot go on without her. Quickly, Captain. Dimitri's men are narrowing their search.
Well done. The amplification platform is powering up now. Activating the generator must have unlocked a damage ship to your location. Return to the bridge as fast as you can. Use the TMD with the platform. Fix the bridge. We don't have much time. locked, you'll have to find another way in. There's an entrance through the storage facility. Be careful. That entire area was locked down after the E-99 gas leak. I've no idea what you may find in there.
The lockdown safety happened quickly. Some people were left inside. God only knows what the gas did to them. Best find yourself a gas mask, my friend. your signal.
GPS shows you outside the gas storage facility. Keep moving. Demachev's men have set up security fences along the perimeter. Find an outpost. You'll need to shut them down. Удалось установить личность убийцы. Говорят, он часть какой-то экспериментальной группы. Мир
89 was loaded into carts, geared for transport to the Cooker. Those carts are your only way in.
you should be inside the facility. So much in idea was processed there that time rifts occur naturally. Find the rift. Get back to 1955 as soon as you can. charge the E-99 bomb. Dr. Petrov keeps it in his office. I wish there was an easier way, Captain.
and the bomb is fully charged. There is no time to waste. We must get to the reactor immediately. Let's get up to the rail. It will take us to the Singularity Tower. Take whatever you need from here, and we can get going. We really need to get going. We're almost to the Singularity. Demichev believes the TMD you carry can be used to contain it. But he's wrong. How could Demichev possibly think something like that could be controlled? We must get there before Demichev can stop us. looks unlike any we've seen. Could time have distorted the creatures even further? closer to the episode. Time itself is becoming unhinged. Time grows short. We'll have to split up. I'll stay here and prepare the equipment while you go to my lab. I've been working on an augmentation to the DMD that will allow you to create a time rift using the singularity. Then you will need to travel back to 1955 and correct the timeline. Go now, Captain. Find my old lab. There is an enhancement for the DMD I was working on inside. This is the 
audio log of Dr. Berisov. Katorga 12 is quite an incredible facility. I can't wait to get started on my research with E-99. But even more interesting is that I get a chance to work with Dr. Demetrius. His theories in quantum physics were groundbreaking. I'm sure together he and I will accomplish great things.
the audio log of Dr. Berisov. That does it. I found out today that Demichev plans on storming into my lab and taking the DMD by force. I've warned all of my colleagues to not comply with his demands. I can't even begin to imagine what twisted experiments he'd use the DMD for.
pilot to open a rift to 1955. Then destroy the reactor with the E-99 bomb. Once the singularity is destroyed, the truth of history will be restored. Go on now, Captain. Good work. Singularity when all I had to do was simply rebuild it. Now, give me the TMD. Don't Ranko. We're missing something, but we can figure it out. We can still set things right. <laughs> Only the victors rewrite the history books. And you lost. Only the victors rewrite the history books? That's it! The Singularity is not the problem. You went back in time and saved Demichev from being killed in the burning building. Remember? He's what you changed, and he's what you have to change back. You cannot let Demetrev live! It won't work. You've already tried that. And failed. Don't you remember who else was there, Captain Renko? Which means the only way to correct the timeline is for you to stop yourself. You mean kill himself? You're asking a man to sacrifice himself for something you've been mistaken about. How many times now? I'm not sure you have reliable authority, Beresov. Rankle, don't listen to him. You can save the world. So you say. But Captain... Think about what you were before all of this. Throne in the hive. I can offer you a whole other life. Things you could only imagine. At your fingertips. Give me the TMD. And help rule the world. Is this a world you want to be a part of, Renko? Look around you! Look at all the suffering this man has caused. No visionary leader is without his critics. Rinkle, he is not a leader. He's a mass murderer, a dictator. You must stop him at all costs. Use the DNA singularity. Travel back in time and kill yourself. <laughs> well, that certainly sounds like an attractive offer. Or you can prove your loyalty to me by killing Beresov. And I will grant you unlimited power. Make your choice, Captain. No, Captain! With Dr. Beresov and Chancellor Demichev dead, the knowledge of E-99 and Katorga-12 dies with them. You disappear and become a legend in the years to come. Most believe you never existed in the first place. The whereabouts of the TMD are unknown. Weeks pass before the bodies of Demichev and Beresov are discovered. The murders are never solved. 
The death of Chancellor Demichev was the first step in ending Russia's grip on the world. The USSR quickly dissolves, defeating factions all vying for power. Wars erupt across the globe as casualties rise into the millions. With their newfound freedom, Mir-12 grows in strength and influence. While they continue their fight against the Russian military, they also begin a manhunt for Dr. Beresov's murderer. To this day, they have been unsuccessful. With the TMD removed from Katorga-12, the singularity destabilizes. A massive explosion destroys the eastern coast of Russia and stretches as far as the prison state of Alaska. A group of Katorga-12 creatures escapes to the Russian mainland and overruns New China. There are rumors of a secret army taking over parts of the former United States. Their leader remains a mystery, but is said to be ruthless, laying waste to all who stand in his way. It is believed his plans involve world domination. His following grows every day. Some claim he is able to summon incredible power, as if he controlled the hand of God himself.